Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today we got a sponsored Magic the Gathering Arena video for you guys, and I'm gonna go over uh, what we'll be doing in the next few weeks and uh, what's going on right now in Magic the Gathering Arena. So right now, um, it is the, the tail end, but in my opinion, it's as flavorful as ever. Uh, core 20, Core 2020. It is the core set of the year, and it includes some pretty nice set of cards. Now, a lot of the cards cards in this set aren't like, you know, the most overpowered ever, that kind of stuff. The core sets is like the best of edition, basically. And these sets, in my experience, are some of the best ones to play draft mode in and sealed mode in. And that has certainly not disappointed this time around. In fact, I would say this is the most fun I've had playing draft in a while. This is really a peak for Magic the Gathering Arena for me. I've been playing draft tons of hours in the last few weeks, and it's just been great. The reason I like it is um, the set doesn't have too many super bombs, so most of the games that you play are actually pretty fair, Well, where all the different aspects of the game are relevant. You know, any kind of life gain, you're going to really see use out of that, because a lot of games end up really close burnouts at the end. Uh, direct damage for the same reason. Those very rare planeswalkers, well, they're very rare, so they don't control the game in carry the game single-handedly. Whenever you have like a big card, a big creature, they actually play their role. Removal plays a role, card advantage plays a role, and those, you know, enchantments and artifacts that get repetitive value, as bad as some of them might be, even the weak ones end up playing a role in the game. Everything kind of is set in its place, and it's just a really fair environment to play Magic the Gathering, where you experience all of the cards, even those that don't see constructed play. So, if you haven't played Magic in a while, I do highly recommend you give Magic Core 2020 drafting a try. And if you have never played Magic the Gathering Arena before, well, it's getting more and more streamlined by the day. They're updating this game all the time, and everything I've been seeing from them is great. So check it out. If you do, make sure to use my link below. It does help me out. And enjoy the best game that I've played in recent times. The Zero Zero play of embo Embodiment of Agonies. Sometimes, it's the play to make, as it turns out. It's got growth. He lands. I'll try it. It's the start of greatness. Okay, that's how we have to look at it. If we get, like, one skeleton, we just draw a ton of cards. Season of growth just fixes potential draws so significantly that it's probably worth it. Yeah, well, probably not the best card to play right now. Scry. Three costs, scry one, put tears in your graveyard. About that one creature I was supposed to draw, well, I didn't get it yet. Really? He even played it, that's like BM, dude. God, next card was a land again. Okay, well, I can I can manage with this. It's fine. It's fine. At last. I 
that'll do. That's really good, actually. Stopping three damage is a pretty big deal. I think I'm gonna do that. Beautiful. It's not bad, it's just a little bit slow. I think I'll keep that. right now. Because <laughs> he has nothing else. That's a problem. Didn't play a land this turn. Do I need to? Four. I'm gonna do Bite. Bite Burglar. I could do a Skeleton as well. So yeah, I probably should take that. I'll take that. Oh my god! We got four and seventeen cards? That's actually crazy. Okay. 
Nope. Alright, now who said Waycroot is worse than like that crappy 7-7? 